Welcome to the Wednesday edition of Tech Stocks Daily. We've got a jam-packed episode that you won't want to miss. First, Google just shook the tech world with jaw-dropping AI updates and even teased new AR glasses. Then Netflix is making waves with a soaring ad-supported tier and a game-changing move into live NFL games. Apple's playing the AI game hard with its latest iPad Pros, and Oracle might score a colossal $10 billion contract with Elon Musk's XAI. From market shifts to tech innovations, stay tuned for all the details. Let's dive in. Today, it's all about the tech titan Google. The news is downright sizzling with updates from Google I.O. 2024, and I'm here to break it all down for you. First up, let's talk about Project Astra. Imagine an AI assistant that can react like a human, remembering what it sees and hears to answer questions about its surroundings. Google showcased this futuristic project, where the AI uses your phone's camera to offer real-time scene analysis. Picture this. During the demo, the AI correctly identified the London neighborhood visible from an office window and helped an employee locate her misplaced glasses. Talk about a multi-talented assistant. This project hints at what might come to Google's powerful AI model, Gemini, later this year. Features like Circle to Search and Gemini Assistant indicate a more integrated and responsive AI experience across Android devices. But it wasn't all smooth sailing at I.O. 2024. Google faced disruptions from anti-Israel protesters, denouncing the company's involvement with the Israeli government through the controversial project Nimbus. This $1.2 billion contract involving cloud computing and AI services has been a hot-button issue, triggering chants of Google Cloud rains blood and on-site protests that forced attendees to reroute to a different entrance. This reflects ongoing employee and public discontent over Google's geopolitical engagements, highlighting the complex relationship between tech giants and global politics. Switching gears to hardware, remember Google Glass? It's back, or at least it seems so. During a Project Astra demo, a new prototype of augmented reality glasses was subtly teased. Though short on details, with AR heating up and competition from companies like Meta and Apple, it looks like Google might be re-entering the space race with these sleek new specs. From hardware to litigation potential, yep, we're on a roller coaster today. Google might have beef with OpenAI. Sundar Pichai hinted that OpenAI may have violated YouTube's terms of service by allegedly scraping a million hours of video to train its AI model, Sora. Although Pichai stopped short of confirming any legal action, he emphasized that YouTube's data policies are crystal clear. This could spell a showdown between two AI juggernauts as Google evaluates its next moves. Education also jumped into the spotlight with LearnLM, a new AI tool aimed at revolutionizing digital learning. From offering personalized learning experiences to solving complex academic problems through interactive features in apps like Gemini and Google Classroom, this initiative promises to make AI an indispensable tool for educators and students alike. Last but certainly not least, Google amped up its search functionality with advanced generative AI, powered by its custom Gemini model. These updates promise smarter, more contextual search results that can handle complex queries involving planning and reasoning. Features like AI-generated headlines and video search capabilities are set to streamline how we gather information, all while keeping traditional search ad slots intact. In short, Google I.O. 2024 was a whirlwind of cutting-edge tech, social controversy, and futuristic promises. From AI evolution and AR resurrection to potential legal dramas and educational revolutions, Google's making sure its presence is felt far and wide. Keep those updates coming, Google. We're all eyes and ears. Today, Netflix has been making some seismic moves that are shaking up the streaming world. The streaming giant is making headlines again, and this time it's not just about binge-worthy shows or pricey subscription plans. Let's dive into the juicy details. First off, Netflix's ad-supported tier is crushing it. That's right, the cheaper Netflix option that comes with ads has almost doubled its global monthly active users from 23 million in January to a whopping 40 million now. That's not just a big jump, it's a giant leap. It looks like folks are pretty keen on saving some bucks by tolerating a few ads. And Netflix is making the most of this by launching its very own ad platform, shifting away from its partnership with Microsoft. Instead of solely relying on Microsoft, Netflix will be cozying up with other ad tech heavyweights like Google Display and Video360, The Trade Desk, and Magnite. Testing kicks off in Canada later this year with the US rollout planned for the second quarter of next year. They aim for a global debut by 2025. Smart move, Netflix. But wait, there's more. Netflix is stepping into the live sports arena. Hold on to your remote controls because Netflix has secured the rights to stream two NFL games on Christmas Day. This is Netflix's maiden voyage into streaming live football marking a significant pivot for the platform traditionally known for on-demand content. You can bet this is part of their strategy to hook more advertisers and keep you glued to your screens, even on Christmas. And it seems like the NFL and Netflix are in it for the long haul. They've inked a three-year deal to stream at least one Christmas Day game in 2025 and 2026, with Netflix hiring its own announcers and partnering with existing production companies. Imagine unwrapping your gifts and tuning into an NFL game streamed exclusively on Netflix. This dynamic duo of ad-supported growth and live sports broadcasts spells out Netflix's ambitious plans to dominate digital advertising and viewer engagement. They're not just content with scripted series anymore. 
They're gunning for live events to boost their ad revenues and keep viewers loyal. Analyst Justin Patterson expects this initiative to bolster Netflix's platform reach and drive even more advertiser interest. Plus, it aligns perfectly with Netflix's existing strategy of high-impact events like the roast of Tom Brady and the highly anticipated Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul fight. While the financial terms of the NFL deal remain hush-hush, we do know it costs Netflix less than $150 million per game. Sounds like a smart investment given that sports, particularly the NFL, draw massive viewership. It's yet another feather in Netflix's cap as they continue to redefine what a streaming platform can offer. So that's the scoop. Netflix is skyrocketing with its ad-supported tier and diving headfirst into live sports, making it the streaming service to watch, literally and figuratively. Stay tuned, because the way things are going, the next big Netflix headline is just around the corner. Today we're diving into why Apple has been making some serious waves in the news. Grab your iPads, because this one's got some layers. Okay, first things first, Apple's been a bit of a wallflower on the dance floor this year. Compared to its flashy tech buddies, Apple has been kind of met with a flat performance. Cue the drama. Some numbers for you. Roundhill Magnificent 7 ETF has boogied up 23.6%, while Apple's been shimmying at a humble 0.9%. Why the awkward shuffle? It's all about AI, baby. Apple's exposure to AI within the Magnificent 7 group isn't as electrifying as its rivals like Microsoft and Alphabet. And let's not forget the iPhone, OG of Apple's product line, which has been facing some tough love in the Chinese market. Speaking of China, Apple's been getting a serious wedgie from its competitors. In the first quarter, Apple shipped 19% fewer smartphones in China, hitting its worst performance since 2020. Thank Huawei for that. They came out swinging with new premium products, seeing a whopping 70% increase in sales. Apple, once the heavyweight champ in China's market, fell from the peak to third place. But wait, there's a new contender in the ring. Enter the latest iPad Pros, featuring the swanky M4 processor. It's got a neural engine that Apple claims outperforms any other AI PCs. Boom, mic drop. Apple's making it clear they're not backing down from the AI race. They're loud and proud about their commitment to AI, with CEO Tim Cook dropping AI mentions like they're hot. The company's heavy investment in AI includes acquisitions of smaller AI firms and eyeing partnerships with OpenAI and Google. And listen to this, analysts are predicting these AI advances will pump up iPhone sales by bringing in cool new features. Imagine keeping your iPhone longer because it's loaded with AI awesomeness. Also, even though Apple's quarterly revenues saw a little dip in Q2, it was better than what analysts feared. Tim Cook's pretty optimistic about revenue picking back up this quarter. But there's more. In the financial quarter, Apple stepped up its game with a 4% bump in its cash dividend and unveiled a stock buyback program worth a jaw-dropping $110 billion, the largest in Apple history. To top off the financial stuff, Apple's stock has been on a little upward trend, gaining 8.2% in the past month and 2.2% just this past week. So what's an anxious investor to do? Well, consider going the ETF route. ETFs mitigate one company's blah performance with the stellar performances of others. We've got some options for you. Select Sector SPDR Technology ETF, Vanguard Information Technology ETF, and iShares Dow Jones US Technology ETF, all with heavy Apple exposure and strong rankings. To anyone who's a bit skeptical of Apple's current performance, the company's long-term vision, especially its dive into AI and services, shows they're playing the long game. Watch this space because Apple's not done making headlines just yet. Today, we've got some juicy news about Oracle that's bound to make waves. Oracle is in the spotlight for multiple reasons, and man, it's like a sitcom. You just can't look away. First up, Oracle's shares are on a roll. They've recently surged by 3.9%, closing at 120.87 cents, and all eyes are on how this momentum will play out. What's sparking this investor excitement? Well, word on the street, thanks to the information, is that Oracle is on the brink of securing a whopping $10 billion cloud services contract with Elon Musk's AI startup, XAI. Oracle chairman Larry Ellison spilled some beans last December, revealing that XAI was asking for a lot more computing power. Now it seems Oracle is ready to dish it out, making XAI potentially one of their largest cloud customers. We're talking a major game changer here, folks. But there's more to the story. Over the past four weeks, Oracle saw a 2.9% drop in its stock price, so this latest uptick is a much needed breath of fresh air. Analysts project Oracle's upcoming quarterly earnings to be around $1.64 per share, slightly down by 1.8% year over year. Revenue, however, is expected to climb by 5.2% to $14.56 billion. While these numbers offer a mixed bag, the buzz around the XAI deal could very well signify more gains for Oracle down the road. Remember, trends in earnings estimate revisions often correlate strongly with near-term stock price movements. So keep your eyes peeled. This roller coaster ain't over yet. But wait, Oracle's adventures don't end here. Three years ago, the company moved its HQ from California to Texas, but employees didn't exactly jump on the moving bandwagon. Now Ellison is hinting at yet another HQ move, this time to Nashville. Austin officials are scratching their heads over this unexpected twist, especially after they offered substantial incentives to bring Oracle to Texas. Despite the buzz, history suggests that any move might not significantly alter Oracle's operations. Who knows, maybe Oracle just likes to keep it spicy. So what's your take on this whirlwind of changes at Oracle? 
Do you think the potential XAI contract will solidify Oracle's place as a big player in the cloud space? Or are you more intrigued by their relocation drama? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. After all, tech news is best served fresh and shared. All right, tech enthusiasts, today we're diving deeper into Oracle, catching some headlines and sparking trader debates. Now, the million dollar question, should you buy, sell, or hold Oracle stock given the news today? Based on today's updates, I'd lean towards holding or even buying Oracle at this moment, and here's why. The big deal buzz. Oracle stock got that sweet 3.9% bump, closing at 12087 cents, and the hype train's chugging because of a potential $10 billion cloud services contract with Elon Musk's AI startup, XAI. This isn't just any deal. We're talking about possibly one of Oracle's largest cloud customers. This kind of partnership could seriously pump up Oracle's cloud revenue and reinforce its position in the cloud market, a space dominated by behemoths like Amazon and Microsoft. Hashtag stop revenue expectations. Even though Oracle's upcoming quarterly earnings are predicted to dip slightly by 1.8% year-over-year to $1.64 per share, revenue is expected to rise by 5.2% to $14.56 billion. That's solid growth, considering the mixed bag of stock performance, specifically a 2.9% drop in the past four weeks. Today's boost indicates strong investor confidence, possibly fueled by the anticipation of this XAI deal. The relocation riddle. Oracle's potential HQ jump to Nashville adds an interesting twist. While it might create temporary uncertainty, History suggests these moves haven't drastically impacted operations before. Could be a non-event in the grand scheme, but it's definitely something to note for your long-term strategy. Analyst sentiment. Analysts' earnings estimate revisions could signal more stock price movement in the near term. Right now, the anticipation of the XAI deal and the current upward trend could mean more gains are on the horizon. Conclusion. Hold or buy? Given the potential for Oracle to lock in this massive contract with XAI, increasing revenue forecasts and positive market response, holding onto your Oracle stock, or even considering buying more, could be a wise choice. It's a calculated bet on Oracle securing the deal and expanding its cloud footprint. Final note. Before you make any investment decisions, remember to do your own research and consider your financial situation and risk tolerance. The tech world moves fast and staying informed is your best strategy. What do you think? Would you hold, buy, or sell Oracle right now? Share your thoughts in the comments. Today has been a whirlwind of tech surprises. Google dazzled at I.O. 2024 with groundbreaking AI advancements and teased the return of Google Glass. Netflix is doubling down on live sports and ramping up its ad-supported success. Apple showed off its AI chops with new iPad Pros and a slew of strategic moves. Oracle might just snag a mega deal with Elon Musk's XAI, lifting their cloud game to new heights. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow tech lovers. And be sure to tune in tomorrow for another round of the latest and greatest in tech news. See you then.